Tough game, actually. Um, the first half was uh, we were all over the place. But uh, I do think uh, we were able to uh, get it corrected in the second half. And uh, it's very important and imperative that we learn to play two halves. And that's what our focus will be this week. Uh, now, the game itself, I thought uh, the offense uh, really played well in the second half. The objective going into the game was to be able to run the ball. And I thought we did just that the second half. I thought it was very critical uh, to drive just before halftime. And we ran the ball in that situation as well. They spread it out, you know, thinking that we were going to throw the ball and we was able to run the ball and um, got, you know, excellent results. And I often say that uh, the team that run the ball best will win. And, and, I, and I believe that. Uh, defensively, I thought we played solid you know, throughout the entire ball game. Um, I thought the guys uh, played fast. Uh, they read their keys and they hit the gaps. And uh, the assignments were, you know, pretty 100% solid. Uh, pass defense, I thought Frank McCain did an excellent job, one-on-one -on -one backside. We played him man-to-man -man backside on that weak side against a very capable receiver. And uh, I thought he did a fabulous job keeping his hands in the right place, he kept technique throughout the entire ball game, and that was very significant. We knew going in, RPO was going to be a big part of their offense. You know, the quarterback was very mobile, as you saw, and can throw the ball some. Um, but uh, with that uh, solid coverage back there, I thought we contained him uh, pretty well. Uh, however, there were uh, one or two pass uh, defense breakdowns. And um, we did not get into the flats in one case. And uh, he completed one, and I think it went for like 38, 40 yards. And, you know, we cannot do that. But overall, uh, I thought they contained the quarterback well. We knew he would run the ball well. We knew that's what he can do. And we did lose him a couple of times, but um, we were able uh, to stop him when it was necessary. The running game, uh, I thought we did an excellent job with their running backs. They, we contained them the entire ball game. They were not able to run at all, and um, I'm very pleased with that. The big issue is special teams. Uh, you know, we had two major uh, miscues on, on special teams. Uh, you know, we, one thing said we live and die by is protect the football. And, and we muffed the punt. That turned into some uh, points scored. And then um, the ball went over our heads, and we turn to run to catch the ball. And, and they're taught not to do that. Once the ball over your head, let it fly. And he actually touched the ball. The ball rolls into the end zone. And um, he didn't know to cover it, pick it up and run it, or kick it. He could have done many things <laughs> other than what he did. But, you know, uh, learning experience, uh, we, and uh, we'll get that fixed. Absolutely, without a doubt. You know, uh, dropping uh, two ball games back to back would have been, you know, a kiss of death, so to speak. It would have been very tough to bounce back from, and it was a place that we did not want to go. Yes, I think that should be a focus. Um, that's one thing we have not done, in my opinion. We have not played a complete game, and that's what uh, we really would like to do put both halves together, you know, from start to finish. And um, we'll work towards that goal this week. It was tough, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think, uh, you know, not only does, you know, coaches get frustrated, players get frustrated as well. And uh, that's exactly what happened. They became frustrated because um, we were not playing anti style football. And then we were, you know, shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, we were moving the gun all the way up to our stomachs. So um, it's very frustrating. And, and so, uh, and it showed. And, but it's our job as coaches to not allow it to get to that point. Well, I'm sure it was some concerns. You know, the feeling, that gut feeling that you, we had at the end of the last game was still there. And then it's like, here, uh-oh, here we go. You know, so you, you don't want to go back to that place. 
So I'm sure there was some carryover, as you call it. Um, I, I thought they did well, you know, throughout practice and, you know, that part of it um, in the week. But when those miscues happened, when we needed them to stick together most, that's when they did not. You know, so those are the issues that we would address this week. It was humongous. It, it, was, uh, it was huge. It was, you know, so now we have something to take in positive to take into the locker room. And um, I, I think that was just absolutely fantastic. And then it was the part of the game that we had rehearsed, you know, going into the game. We wanted to run the football, and we were able to. Well, I think that's some of the, that's one of the things that happened. Once you open up the run game, uh, you know, that would give you some passing opportunities. And I think that helped him, you know, well, uh, as well as um, some of his mechanics had gotten off. And we were able to find those. I give Coach um, Barnett credit for that. He found those weaknesses in, in his mechanics. And I think once he got those corrected, he was able to get into a rhythm and get back to a normal self, uh, delivering the football. And, yes, he is our starter. I think uh, when he was completing the bubbles and throwing it in rhythm and, and pointing the toe in the right direction and throwing the ball where he was trying to throw it, I think that's what started everything. Yeah. And that got the, the motor running. And uh, I thought it was imperative that we you know, got the running game started. And it, it was obvious. And um, I, thought we, I knew we were able to block him. That's all we had to do, get a hat on a hat. That's all you have to do and give Cartwright and uh, Maine an opportunity to get to the second level. They can make you miss, you know, and uh, sometimes tempo is huge. You know, sometimes it works in your favor, sometimes it does not. Now, one of the things we do know, they didn't have the depth that they normally have over there. So if we're able to run them and, and get them a little fatigue, we thought that would work in our favor as well. Yeah, if you find the answer to that, let me know. <laughs> well, I, t I tell you, really, it's about us. As uh, you stated earlier, it's about us. We got to get a, off to a good start and a great finish. And so we don't care who we playing. Let's concern ourselves with that. And uh, I think if we did that, we'll be fine. I tell you what. Uh, they're not a bad football team, and I think uh, they're well coached. And schematically, they know exactly what they're doing. They don't have the athletes to do some of the things that they're trying to do. And I think that's where we must, you know, take advantage of. Uh, if it come down, you know, player against player, uh, we should be okay. So we got to reduce it to just that, take scheme out of it.